तेरे भारत और बांग्लादेश का भर्चुअल मीटिंग को प्रेरित नजर पकाएगा। इन समय में भारत और बांग्लादेश के बीच अच्छा सहयोग रहा, चाहे वो दवाइयां या मेडिकल इक्विपमेंट हो, या फिर हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल का के साथ काम करना हो, वैक्सीन के क्षेत्र में भी हमारे बीच अच्छा सहयोग चल रहा है। इस सिलसिले में हम आपकी आवश्यकताओं का भी विशेष ध्यान रखेंगे। सार्क फ्रेमवर्क के तहत बांग्लादेश के योगदान के लिए मैं आपका आभार व्यक्त करता हूं। स्वास्थ्य के अलावा अन्य क्षेत्रों में भी इस वर्ष हमारी विशेष साझेदारी निरंतर आगे बढ़ती रही है। लैंड बॉर्डर ट्रेड में बाधाओं को हमने कम किया, दोनों देशों के बीच कनेक्टिविटी का विस्तार किया, नए साधनों को जोड़ा, यह सब हमारे संबंधों को और अधिक मजबूत करने के हमारे इरादों को दर्शाता है। एक्सेलेंसी, मुझे चिरंतर बंग बंदू का संदेश इटरनल है और इसी भाव से हम भी उनकी लीगेसी का सम्मान करते हैं आपके उत्तम नेतृत्व में बंग बंदू की लीगेसी स्पष्ट रूप से जलकती है साथ ही हमारे द्विपक्षीय संबंधों के लिए आपकी निजी प्रतिबद्धता भी स्पष्ट है यह मेरे लिए गर्व की बात है कि आज आपके साथ बंग बंदू के सम्मान में एक डाक टिकट का विमोचन और बापू और बंग बंदू के ऊपर एक डिजिटल प्रदर्शनी का उद्घाटन करने का मौका मिल रहा है मैं आशा करता हूं कि बापू और बंग बंदू की प्रदर्शनी हमारे युवाओं को प्रेरणा देगी। इसमें एक विशेष सेक्शन कस्तूरबा गांधी जी और पूजनीय बॉंगो माता जी को भी डेडिकेट किया गया है। एक्सेलेंसी, अब मैं आपके ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स आमंत्रित करना चाहूँगा। Your Excellency Shri Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of India, distinguished members of the Indian delegation. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Namaskar. I thank you for your kind words of appreciation. I'm happy to meet you again, particularly on this month of victory. December evokes in all Bangladeshis the spirit of joy, freedom and celebration. As we recall with deep gratitude our father of the nation, Bangabundhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, under whose dynamic leadership we earned our great independence. I pay deep homage to the three million martyrs who laid down their lives. I pay tribute to members of the Indian Armed Forces martyred in the war. And to their families. I pay my gratitude to the government and the people of India who extended their wholehearted support for the cause of our liberation. Excellency, today is a special day for me, 17 December. This was the day when the Pakistani forces 
My mother, my sister, my brother, we were all incarcerated. Colonel, uh, Colonel Ashok Tara, who was a major at that time, on the morning of 17 December, he freed us from the hands of the Pakistani forces. Sixteen December, Bangladesh was free, but we were free on 7th of December. I express my gratitude to the Colonel, to the people of India, to the Mukti Bahini. We were free on that day. Only my sister Rihanna, Joy, and myself, we are alive today. Honorable Prime Minister, India is our true friend. In October 2019, at the Grand Hyderabad House in New Delhi, we met last, and I recall the wonderful hospitality you extended. We have spoken in between over video conference a number of times in between. Much has changed since then. The world has witnessed an upheaval and mankind's ability to counter the unknown has been put to the test. Millions of lives have been lost, livelihoods destroyed, economies slowed down, societies disrupted. Perhaps the most stark manifestation of the COVID-19 pandemic is that people-to-people -people contacts have been forced to a standstill. Our hopes to welcome you in Dhaka earlier this year could not be fulfilled. Yet, I commend the manner in which concerned authorities on both sides have taken forward our bilateral cooperation during these trying times as per directives of our last summit. Throughout 2020, we have witnessed a number of initiatives such as trade through rail routes, high-level visits and meetings, capacity building initiatives, the first trial run of Indian cargo from Kolkata to northeast of India, and of course, cooperation on COVID-19. I must commend you, Excellency, for the manner in which your government has countered COVID-19 in one of the world's most affected and populated zones. Apart from your health care packages, the economic packages introduced under your initiative of Atmanir Bharat is admirable. We believe India will play an even more important role in the global economy through your policies taken. In Bangladesh also, we have introduced stimulus packages to the tune of 14.14 billion US dollars to offset the economic and social impacts of the pandemic. We have expanded social safety net coverage, providing assistance to more than 25 million people since detection of the virus in early March. Extensive measures have been put in place to contain the second wave of the pandemic. As a result, our economy has sustained an upward growth trend despite widespread disruptions in the international supply chain and decline in consumer demand. We happily recognize the growing dependency of the economies of Bangladesh and India. A good number of Indian nationals are employed in the manufacturing and service sector of Bangladesh and are remittance earners for India.
On the other hand, India receives its highest number of tourists and medical patients from Bangladesh. I believe both our countries can move up the global and regional value chains by further integrating our economies, taking advantage of available synergies. Our ongoing connectivity initiatives are catalysts in this regard. A prime example is the resumption of Chilahati Holdibari Rail Link, which we will inaugurate today. Honorable Prime Minister, our relations have embarked on a landmark moment. Bangladesh is on the verge of celebrating 50 years as an independent nation. Bangladesh and India are also stepping into the 50th year of establishment of diplomatic relations. Further, we are celebrating the 100th birth anniversary of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Just a few months ago, we concluded celebrations of the 150th birth anniversary of your father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. In Bangladesh, we released a special postal stamp as a mark of tribute to Bapuji. I understand today we will be inaugurating a stamp issued by the Postal Department of India in honor of Bangabandhu. I convey my sincere gratitude to you and your government for so spontaneously coming together to mark these important occasions with joint celebrations. We have chalked out joint programs throughout the coming year in cities worldwide to commemorate our inseparable linkages in Bangladesh's Liberation War of 1971. The crowning glory of our joint commemoration would be your presence in Dhaka for the celebrations on 26th March 2021. I thank you. Your Excellency, Sheikh Hasina, Prime Minister of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, Honorable Ministers and Distinguished Guests. As we commemorate the historic Mujib Borsho, I have the honor to invite the Honorable Prime Ministers of Bangladesh and India to jointly unveil the commemorative stamp on Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. I request the two Prime Ministers to press the launch button. Excellencies, to honor the contributions of the two of the greatest leaders of the last century, Mahatma Gandhi and Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, I request both the Prime Ministers to jointly inaugurate the Bangabandhu Bapu Digital Exhibition by pressing the launch button. We will now witness a short video marking this inauguration. Two extraordinary men at different times in history changed the destiny of the people. One adopted Ahimsa while the other embraced the power of his language to fight against oppression and tyranny. Their iconic struggle and conviction led to the liberation of their countries from the inhuman, despotic and ruthless forces. This is a story of their resilience and unflinching spirit as they led their people to freedom and liberation. Bongabandhu Bapu is a story of India and Bangladesh showcasing the bond of blood, shared sacrifices that unite these two great nations.
Bungabandhu Babu Digital Exhibition is curated with 21 walls of information and over 100 points of digital engagement. The experience begins with the introduction wall that highlights the theme of the exhibition and the exemplary status of these two inspiring leaders in the eyes of the world via testimonials. Some of the noteworthy installations are The Meeting Wall Based on the day the two leaders met in August 1947 It displays probably the only photo in the world that has both Bungabandhu and Bapu in one frame A holographic time machine layers historical photos with the timeline and provides a unique interface to the users to reference their time and lives the salt march led by Mahatma Gandhi is considered by the Time magazine to be amongst the three most important movements in the modern history, while the Bongabandhu speech of 7th March is in the memory of the World Register of UNESCO. Jallianwala Bagh and the Genocide Tunnel the pain, suffering and the agony endured by the people are presented through the Jallianwala Bagh and the Genocide Tunnel. The brutal use of force by General Dyer in Jallianwala Bagh and the Pakistani army was to suppress the legitimate movement of people against subjugation, brutality and violence. The Triangle of Engagement provides a 360-degree view of the historic locations, a robotic signature of Bongabandhu and Bapu, and the favorite music of the two leaders being played in the background. The exhibition speaks the language of today, that is, technology, and provides a unique experience to the visitors. It encourages the youth to emulate the inspiring values of the two great leaders respect the sacrifices of the martyrs and appreciate the spirit of freedom that we all enjoy today. Bungabandhu Bapu, a shared vision of India and Bangladesh. Excellencies, the Chilahati Haldibari rail link not only connects Assam to Bangladesh via West Bengal, but also serves as an inspiring symbol of the ever-increasing people-to-people links between our two countries. It is my privilege to invite both the Prime Ministers to jointly inaugurate this project by pressing the launch button. Let us, now witness a sh Let us now witness a short video on this landmark project. India and Bangladesh share a long-standing camaraderie. The Prime Ministers of both the nations are working to further flourish the relations between the two neighboring countries through trade and travel. As part of this vision, various developmental steps have been taken in the recent past. Adding to the progress made in strengthening the bond, both the countries are reviving a railway link, which was once operational till 1965. The reopening of the Chilahati Haldibari route is expected to encourage economic and social developments of the people of both the nations. With the transit facilitation of goods and passengers traffic to and fro between Bangladesh and India. Enhancing accessibility to the main ports and dry ports across land borders to support the growth in regional trade. For this purpose, construction of a broad gauge link from Haldibari in India to Bangladesh border has been carried out by Indian Railways. Similarly, Bangladesh Railway has also upgraded and laid the missing tracks from Chilahati to Indian border. Chilahati Haldibari Rail Link is the fifth railway link becoming operational between India and Bangladesh, nurturing the social, trade and cultural bonds between the people of both the nations.
this is the restoration of not only an old rail link but the lifelines of India Bangladesh relationship under the able leadership of our prime ministers long live India Bangladesh friendship Excellencies, it is my privilege to announce that as a testament of the rapidly growing mutual cooperation between the two countries, India and Bangladesh have also signed seven agreements in the areas of hydrocarbons, agriculture, textiles, community development, elephant conservation, and terms of reference on constituting a CEO forum.